Hello, hello, mom and dad me world. So today I want to talk to you about our configuration that we use to back up our video files, specifically our Final Cut Pro projects, and then uh, basically all the videos that we take with our Sony ZV-E1 and the Sony a7 IV, specifically again for YouTube. We have been using these right here. These are different SSDs here. So we've got a two terabyte, a one terabyte and then two other four terabyte drives right here in the middle in the Samsung T7 and T9. However, we were actually filling up these drives very, very quickly and these drives are very, very expensive. Not to mention we actually only had one copy on each of these drives of our backup footage. So what we wanted to do was get something a little bit um, more redundant should i say so we ended up getting one of these right here actually we ended up getting two of these uh, you can see this box here and then the other box right over my right shoulder behind me but that is the seagate 28 terabyte these are regular three and a half inch regular spinning hard drives as opposed to a solid state drive so they are much much slower much much more louder because they actually do emit some noise and uh, they are actually much bigger in terms of storage not only just size wise like physically size wise but also in terms of storage because these are 28 terabyte drives so my configuration is not one that I'm recommending that maybe you do or you need to do I just wanted to share with you my configuration so we are using this on an M2 Mac mini this is the base model 8 gigs of RAM 256 gigs of solid state storage but the caveat with that is we're actually using a Caldigit TS3 plus a Thunderbolt 3 dock so we do have more additional ports available and that is what I'm using one of the Thunderbolt ports with on this Mac mini and then the other one, that other port is going to feed uh, the display for the Thunderbolt 2 displays that are daisy chained. So that does free up two more USB-A ports. So those are USB-A uh, 3 ports. And this, these drives right here, because of the configuration we have this set up, they will actually eat up both of those ports. So you're going to plug both of them in. So with that being said, I just want to pause one moment. So we actually originally intended to get a singular RAID enclosure, a multi-drive enclosure to house two large hard drives, but the drives are super duper expensive, plus the RAID enclosure itself. The, the advantage with that is it only takes up one USB port, which is good, but then the disadvantage is the drives themselves put together are super duper expensive. The other alternative was to take out these drives because we did get these drives at our local Best Buy on sale. It would have been to take these drives out of the enclosure and then put them in that enclosure. But for sake of warranty, which we do have the warranty, I wanted to keep them in the uh, enclosures and use them as intended. So what we are doing is we are plugging in each of these drives and these drives do have like uh, 100 to 220 volt power because, uh, well, it's right in the adapter and they give you all, all of these different adapters for, they're basically international adapters, whether you are in the United States or outside of the US, uh, you can pretty much use them. But when you plug everything in, they do use a micro 3.0 USB port on one side. It is not USB-C but it is micro USB 3 and then USB A on the other. So plugs right into the back of the Mac minis. But anyways, when you plug them both in to the Mac mini, you are eating up both of your USB A ports. So that is a big downside. But again, if you have a dock, no issue whatsoever. So you plug them both in and what you're gonna do is you're gonna start up disk utility. So command and space or just hit search type in disk utility and then disk utility is going to pop right up and the drives you'll actually see them on the left side and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to file and then you're going to want to go to raid assistant so the configuration we are using is a raid one so even though they are two drives what it's going to do is going to, it's going to take both of those drives and basically it's going to act like two of those drives are one drive 
what it's doing when you want to copy and paste into or back up to that drive instead of selecting both drives it's just one drive and it's just putting them directly into both of those drives so it's creating your redundancy without you manually going to each each drive copying and pasting to each drive with the raid one it is just writing onto both drives at the same time so when you have a video a file anything you want to put on the drive it's automatically getting backed up to both drives it will just show on there i named this backup drives as one drive that is the configuration we have here so in using the drives yes they are loud they've got some like different ticks if you're used to or have heard a regular hard drive it has those same type of sounds and then with that there's also that gigantic speed disparity where these are going to be what about a gigabit per second and these are about one tenth to, to one fifth to one tenth of that speed and then the other thing is when you absolutely are transferring like so we've got these two and four terabyte drives right here when we did transfer these two and four terabyte drives it does take a long time like four hours and then quite a bit longer maybe upwards of six seven eight hours and when you do that the drives do get hot you do not want to put the drives directly next to each other you want to actually have a little bit of space and what we actually did is we bought uh well we had already bought this little ten dollar battery fan so we've got a 40 volt ryobi and uh battery and we just put the the fan it just clips into the battery and we actually just set it right here let the fans blowing onto the enclosures and from the ssd it was copying off of and it cooled it down much much better so for everyday regular day-to-day -day video files that you're transferring maybe you're transferring a project that's maybe 10 gigabytes the 10 gigabytes is going to transfer over no issue yes they do warm up but nothing like four terabytes two terabytes four terabytes at a time the drives do get hot and it will slow down even more if you don't have that active cooling so again we put that ryobi fan just set it on medium setting let them blow and it cooled down just fine so this setup right here having the backup drives and then having these is basically these are just regular ssds that we could use if we needed to put a project file on here for any data transfer um, these are great we now have quite a few ssds as backup but these drives have worked great into our current configuration because the way we've got our m2 mac mini we've got files we've got file sharing and then we've got like a remote a local area remote desktop setup so if we need access to drives and we do when i get done with making a youtube video making that project file what i do is i offload all that data i connect it to this mac mini right here i can offload those files directly from our macbook pro or our macbook air and then just dump them copy them directly to these drives right here and then erase them off of our local storage so with our local storage we've got 512 gigs of solid state storage on our macbook air and the macbook pro and that fills up very very quickly and so having them offload right here is great and what's even better is because we have two of these setups they are going into a redundant backup so uh, both of them are getting backed up to each drive, which is peace of mind. So we're putting not only the videos, the projects, but also the finished video file that does get uploaded to YouTube. YouTube does have a copy, so there's always a redundant copy and now two more copies each with these drives. So I just want to share with you our setup for backing up our video files. Maybe not the ideal setup because it is using two of your USB A ports. And then you've got these bigger enclosures, two of them on your desk. But it's something that works for us. Something where if you have a, a Mac or, or if you are using Mac OS, just using disk utility, essentially it's just setting up, setting everything up for you and writing them onto both drives so hopefully this video helped you out in case you're thinking hmm maybe i want to back up my own 
Maybe I'm tired of manually backing up. Well, maybe get two drives. Doesn't have to be these drives. These are, these are the drives we ended up getting for us, but uh, may, maybe you want to set up your own RAID 1 enclosure. Maybe you want to get another enclosure, put two drives in there and have some sort of backup. Either way, I just wanted to share with you our configuration. And uh, if you like the video, you know what to do. Like, share, comment, subscribe. It all helps out our channel. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye for now.